um, an Iranian born until yesterday Turkey living uh, journalist and blogger. She blogged frequently for the Times of Israel's site in Persian um, and um, apparently because uh, of her connection to Israel and I mean she's, she was active against the regime in, uh, in Iran when she was in Iran and she was active against the regime, she wrote against the regime, critical of the regime when she was in Turkey. Uh, this complicated her position in Turkey even though she has as far as I understand refugee status and she was warned that if she didn't get out of Iran, uh, she, out of Turkey, sorry, then she might find herself uh, uh, being kicked out and sent back to Iran. Um, and um, when her, her situation came to my attention, which was really only two weeks ago, I, uh, I spoke to the relevant Israeli authorities and I told them about her situation. I felt that we had an obligation, the Times of Israel in particular, and the State of Israel in general, to help somebody who was in trouble, partly because of her connection to Israel, and all the relevant authorities went to work and uh, she was able to come and she arrived in Israel uh, this morning. Okay, I'll, I'll ask you. Are, you. are you pleased that you are in Israel? I'm very happy. I'm very happy. Uh, Israel, uh, like uh, this is my country, uh, when I um, going to Israel, I think uh, it's my country, and I, um, I think uh, it's, it's my mind. Uh, I'm safe now. I'm safe now, and anything uh, don't uh, want to attack me, arrested me. I will say this: um, I I met Neda the first time this morning. Uh, I spoke to her the first time less than two weeks ago. Um, I, she made it clear to me that she realistically thought her life was in danger um, and her life was in danger because I think Turkey is changing and she had written against the regime in Iran and she had reason to fear that Turkey would kick her out and that if nobody would take her in uh, she might find herself on the way back to Iran uh, and I thought that uh, there was a choice which is you know do nothing or we have to see if we can save her and I don't think I could have lived with myself if, uh, if I had found out that she was on the plane back to Iran. And to my great pride, uh, I'm, you know, I'm a journalist, I write very, very many critical things about this country very often, but somebody's life was potentially in danger and the Israeli authorities did far beyond what, uh, what would be expected in my opinion. They made sure that she was able to leave. Uh, and that's why very soon after her case was brought to my attention and then to the attention of official Israel, she's here in Jerusalem. Now, I don't know what will be in the future, but the fact is she is not on a plane to Iran. She's not at risk in Turkey. She's safe in the state of Israel, and I think that's, uh, that's really quite something.